will be positive. There'll be yeses, there'll be pluses, there'll be positives, because those are the knockout questions that you've asked. What are you trying to do? You're trying to knock out who? Competition. The competition. Yeah, you're in the way of the film. We'll have to edit that. Yeah. I don't know if we can edit that or not. Okay. So you're going to have a series of knockout questions, and uh, I can't even tell you how many of them I have. You can go through them and just pick out the ones that are appropriate that give you yeses. Do an outline of the listing meeting. Now, I haven't got anything to give you on that because the listing meeting, and I call it a listing meeting instead of a presentation. And words are very important. If you just tell them we're going to have a, you know, I'd like to get together and meet with you and talk to you about listing, uh, the listing of your house. Instead of a presentation, going back to what I said before, and we all agree, a presentation doesn't have connotations of joy. And do it in a letter fashion. Do give a couple of testimonials. We'll come back to that. We'll look at some testimonials. Three is ideal, actually. And then do one dramatic visual that elevates you against the competition. Have something in your listing presentation, your pre-listing presentation package that elevates you against the competition. These are the do's. Do's of a pre-listing package. These are the don'ts. It's a shorter list, but way more important. Number one, don't, do not give any estimates of costs, fees, commissions. Do not put anything down that hints that you want six, five, whatever it is, or that there's any extraordinary costs, or that you expect them to pay for staging, etc. So, no, do not ever put anything down about what the costs are going to be. Do not include a CMA. And there's the, the next one will be a better explanation of that because you don't give them any information that needs to be discussed. Now, if you go back to the CMA, if you give them a CMA, they're going to sit there and look at all the comps that you delivered, and between the time they read it and the time you show up, they will have figured out why none of them apply to who? Them. them. Because their house is different, special, better. You know, they do have the storage under the steps. You know, and that house didn't have any of that. You know, we have finished the crawl space. You know, so those are the things that you want to avoid. Don't give them time to figure all that out. Now that doesn't mean that you can't deliver them some statistics. We'll come back to that. A CMA is simply a comparative market analysis. It has nothing to do with the general market at the time. That's something that you will want to do. In your presentation, this is one of my favorite little pet peeves. Try to use a current photo. <laughs> that actually is me. I know you can tell. Use a current photo that's very realistic, not even a cartoon character. That's me as well. That's a current photo. As current as I want to get. <laughs> so you start with just a little bit about yourself. Take a picture of the house. Go by, get a digital photo of the house. Show them that you've put some thought and preparation into this package. This is uh, the great photo. That, <laughs> that was actually a house I had listed once in, in Petaluma. Uh, and they couldn't get the, telephone, the power company to move the telephone pole. Yeah, it was a little spec house in a little subdivision. And the, you know, the pg and &E, I think it was, was supposed to move the pole, and they just couldn't get around to it. So it was a current way. How'd they do that? How'd they get the current way? They paved the around it. There's a little thing right in the middle there where there's an island around it. All right, so then you do an introduction. Here's the introductory letter that I talked about. You can read that. Congratulations on your decision to consider me for the job of, list, of selling your home homeowners from Chiburon, Mill Valley, et cetera, et cetera. It's just something about my career and about me. But you keep it minimal. I will, by the way, I did not print any of this for you. 
I will give you my card at the end of the presentation. Anything that you want, I would be more than happy to send you in an email. I hate to waste paper. I could print every one of these things, and then we can throw a pile of paper away. So in an attempt to be a little more green, you'll have to ask me for what it is that you want. So here's a nice, just little short letter of introduction. Then we go to a personal note. And this is really my CV. Who knows what that's name? C what? C C Latin. Latin. Yes. It's your personal resume. The CV is a Latin word for curriculum VCA, I think is the way it's pronounced. Of course. Then a mission statement. And a great little one. Now here's a great visual to have in there. Because what it does is it has kind of a flavor of we're going to enter into this and we are going to become a team together to sell your house. A handshake and it's not adversarial. So often you'll find people who feel like you're on some other team even though they're going to let you sell the most expensive asset that they've ever had in their life and they'll still treat you as though you're not on their side. So you want to get them into a mode of feeling like you're forming a team. We're going to get together, we're going to shake hands, and we're going to proceed together to sell your home. And then down at the bottom it says you have a family doctor, a family lawyer, a dentist, a mechanic, accountant, and maybe even a veterinarian for your pet. I want to be your family real estate professional. Now, people don't generally think of real estate agents as someone that they have. You know, go, to, go to your Rolodex. Do you have a real estate agent in there? Not many do. So you want to become the family real estate agent, the real estate agent for life. There's just track record and results. Just throw some things in there. This is a little bit about Alon Pinnell, a little bit about me. In real estate, a track record is an important when, cha when choosing an agent to market your property, etc., etc. So, a track record. For, uh, you don't use anything you don't have. You make up whatever it is you need. You have a track record, though. Not in real estate, yes. Not in real estate. You do have a track record. You have a career where you have done things that have led you to this place, and those things have made you who you are and given you some talent, skills that other people wouldn't have. So think of that that way. Then you have come a visual. Remember, I said some visual it has an impact. There's a great little thing that says, my marketing techniques might make it hard to carry away the money. Um, I believe in making sellers very happy. It's just nothing but a visual. Now, on Savvy, there is a PowerPoint listing presentation. There are all kinds of slides in that listing presentation. They're PowerPoint slides, but you can print them as a, a slick sheet. You can print them any, any and every one of them. And what I discovered in preparing for this presentation is that there's an awful lot of sheets in that PowerPoint presentation that are not in the drawer in your office. I don't know where they came from or why they don't have them there, but some of these are better. So refer to that. That's where this one came from. The true test of success is the test of time. This is just a real brief history of APR. It's a great, great sheet. I didn't find it in the drawer of the presentation materials, but I did find it in the PowerPoint presentation. It's read-only, so you can't change any of it. But you can print it. This one, I believe, is in the drawer, and this is the accomplishments of Alon Pinnell, accolades. This goes down further. I'm not sure if this is you know, these are all the different achievements in terms of ranking that Alon Pinnell has done. There's another one. This is a great graphic, too. You won't come up against anyone else in Marin County real estate or in San Francisco real estate who can show you a map of office locations to rival this one. And it answers a question. When they, they're, they're, they're looking and saying, Alon Pinnell, I've mean, never heard of you. Well. We're new kids in Marin, but we're not new kids. You know, we bring a great deal of expertise to the party. This is another one. This is uh, this is 2011. 
500 largest realtors along Pinnell Realtors. Number six in the country. How many of you are aware of that? Number six in the country. Now number five. Now number five. This was... This was the 10th, 2010? All right. So now number five in the country. Number one in average sales price in the country. That, you know, I mean, that speaks volumes in terms of when you're looking at Sotheby's and, and the other uh, people. Yes? Where did you see that? That would be a very compelling. Did you see it on a brochure? Uh, you can find that. The one about number one in terms of average sales price, that's a graphic somewhere. I mean, it's, it's in one of these slides or in the presentation materials. Um, actually, it might be on this one. Uh, last one down. Average uh, sales price. Average sales price, number one. So it's on this particular sheet. These came from our Thursday meetings. So this is Frank Hart, or this is Frank Hart Allen being number two for the first time in anything. Alon Pinnell being number one versus Frank Hart Allen Greenbrae office. Uh, larger than the San Rafael office, larger than Decker Bullock. Uh, more productive than Frank Hart Allen Tiburon. That is a very, very good, compelling graphic when somebody says, gee, you know, what about so-and-so? Well, we are produced one. This is on Saturday. This is on the S Drive. This is something Steve does for the Thursday morning office meeting. So you can find this on the S Drive. But you can always find, this is a trend graphics. So this is something that if you can't do it, you can get it recreated. Here's another one. You know, a nice little total sales in units of market share. And Steve did this again. This was for one of the Thursday morning office meetings. And it shows, here's Alon Pinnell with 122 agents, Bradley with 252, and Frank Iron Allen with 226. <coughs> what does that tell you? More We're more productive per agent. Our productivity per agent is much higher than these other firms. So when somebody tells you, well, gee, Bradley has this percentage of the market, or Frank Hard Ellen has this percentage, yes, they do, with uh, not with twice as many agents. Basically. Did you say 10% from that three? Uh, this is 10.3 versus 12.6. For double the agents. Yeah, for double the agents. 226, again, almost twice the agents. I, it, the percentage wasn't over there for Frank Hard Ellen. I didn't make this graph, so. Again, compelling graphics do include color, compelling, it's great stuff. Here's things we do to attract buyers and sellers to your home, all right? So now let's talk about the marketing. This is, these are the things that we do. This is a truncated list of things that we do, but there are graphics. Here's one of the things that we do. This is APR's online marketing. And this it is very important. These are all of the different websites that your listing will appear on when you list your property for the Holland Pinnell agent. There's 20 some of them. This is why online marketing? This graphic is better than this if you we weren't cut off at the bottom. This would show you what the percentage of people who do their first foray into looking for a home is now something in the 90%. They look online first. I have clients who are ahead of me. I mean, they call me up to ask me because they found something online before I even saw it on the update. So this is another, this came from the, uh, the listing presentation. This is much better, in my opinion, in a pre-listing package that you deliver to the house, again, 48 hours in advance, than to have to sit there and belabor these things that are, as we used to say when I was in college, they're intuitively obvious to the most casual observer we're better. You know, this is why we do what we do. Print advertising. Great example of a lot of Nell's print advertising. People wonder, are you going to put my ad, my house in the paper? We put houses in the paper. This is where we advertise. We're in the Independent Journal, we're in the Chronicle, we're in the et cetera, et cetera. Answers questions that would be really not a good use of your time when you're at the meeting. Uh, luxury portfolio. 
these are the ones where you have to make a decision, is this appropriate to the house that you're going to, to make the presentation? You know, if you're making a presentation of a five, six 